Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you. So today we are cooking up some fun Christmas envelopes. If you um, have watched my videos, the last one that I created, um, we did some covers with some little journals. Just, just a fun little something. And I mentioned that I, you know, it would be fun to make some envelopes for it. Well, okay, so I spent a little bit of time and we made some envelopes. And I want, they're so super simple. I know you've probably done them a bazillion times and that's cool. I've done a lot of them myself too. But this was really fun and I thought it would just be a fun little addition as you're working on your Christmas things. And of course, you don't have to do this Christmas-wise, everybody. If that's not something you celebrate, you can certainly do any other type of theme or whatever you would like. But I like Christmas, and I'm thinking Christmas, and so that's where my mind is at right now. How are you? I hope you're doing really well. It's it's always good when I come back and, and get to visit with you. You're very important. You're very important to me. And I hope you know that I really appreciate your support. I really do. Okay. Um, so for those of you, real quick, those of you that are brand new, I hope you'll consider subscribing. We do a lot of fun things. Um, I'm not a one note. I do a bunch of different things. But I do love to focus on mixed media fabric plus paper. Those two together are like, yay, for me. <laughs> but I do um, a little bit of other things too. So, okay. All right. So I'm going to show you just these envelopes are so silly, silly, simple. You'll just be like, ah, oh, duh. So all I did, this was a printout from a digital that I had for a little while. And I, to get the size, and I will make some too. So it just, I didn't actually measure, measure. So these are different sizes. Um, but I just want you to see how super sweet and cute just simple little collaging on just really perks them up and makes them special. And these are probably kind of in the style of a coin envelope where you fold the front into the back and then we pop up a little bit and we have a little tab that goes down. When I'm ready to use these, give these out as gifts or whatever, I can do a couple of things here. I have, and you can purchase this, this is 8 inch double sided tape. And what I do, I can do, <laughs> I can do, can you do, <laughs> we can do, whoops, <laughs> woohoo, there you go. And I just keep that down. And then when I'm ready to use it, depending if I want to give this for someone to reuse, I may go ahead and, and leave that or I'll just peel off that paper and stick it down. You can add stickers here. I mean, you can just tuck this in if you want, whatever you want to do. So let's just take a look at them and then we'll start creating. These, the last the ones I'm going to show you now, the next five, have been done with pages from a Christmas decorating book. Is that just the cutest? And the paper is shiny, and it's got a, you know, kind of a heavy coating, but I like that for an envelope. And with the Christmas, I just think it's really, really sweet. There again, you've got a little bit of collaging and here's another one. 
and of course these where they are um, from pages you're going to have printing on both sides so you'll have to make decisions depending on as to which side you want to use if you're printing the paper out from a digital obviously you know you don't have to do that so here's another one and another one I just I love these so much and this one you can gear it this is the one that I did that we did together in my last video and I'll put the link to that in case you missed it and I used some of this lace and I did my collage bringing out a little bit more and so I thought it would be fun to also bring that onto the envelope to tie it all together and I added this little receipt in the background as the elements to tie the book and the envelope in together so that they match okay and then here is the last one that I have made and this is just glued down some cheesecloth and this was a, a napkin design that I glued on to paper and then fussy cut out and then I just added little bits and pieces these are digitals right here and this is a dictionary page all right I mean these are just you guys these are so much fun okay so Let's set that aside. I'm going to get one of the books out. Little journals, book, whatever you want to call it. And this is to verify to you guys that I did not measure. <laughs> it's the same size book <laughs> in each one. But as you can see, they are different heights and different widths. And that, you know, that's fine. Of course, you could measure if you want to and keep it together that way. And, and that's perfect, too. So let's take a look at uh, some of your options. Here, I thought it would be fun to use some actual, these would make really pretty envelopes. And this is very sturdy. And you just have to decide you know which side do I highlight that's one possibility here is a Christmas cookbook an old one that I mean look at these images won't these make great pockets so they've got wonderful images and there again these are nice and sturdy pages so they'll make really nice envelopes just gives it an extra element of fun for the Christmas. Oh, isn't that sweet? <gasps> That's super cute. The beret. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I can see that's a... Oh, I was going to say that's a terrible choice, but I can have them both. Ooh, doesn't that look good? <laughs> so, you get the idea. And the ones that I have been using come from this that I picked up in a little flea market um, thrift store and I've been really enjoying these I've only taken one signature so far but just look at the possibilities so the thing that you have to pay attention to, oh, that won't, there's so many pretty ones. These will make, these will just be really great. What you have to pay attention to is the size of what you're putting, uh, what your little booklet, what your card, what your little, whatever it is that you're creating. Let me show you a couple more things. These are done with glassine bags and I have and this is another video that I have created 
that with the glassine highlighting the glassine, which I love. And if you're new, you'll find I'm a crinkle girl. Love to do the crinkle crinkle. So these are just super fun. And I put these in a glassine bag that I have embellished. Now, wouldn't it be fun then to put this in an envelope to completely finish it off and then put a little bit more of the Halloween theme or the fall theme, if that's, I mean, that would match this. I don't mean that <laughs> you need to do that, but just to keep it all together. That makes your gift really super, super special because it feels really custom when you do that. Okay, so that's just to show you. So these could be the sizes, and you want a page of whatever it is that you're using. It can't be too terribly brittle or it will break when you fold it. It can't be too thin or it will rip and tear. So just kind of, you can gauge that. Um, and if it's too heavy, it can also bend and break. So you just, you know, you just kind of have to just give it a try. I mean, it's just paper, right? If you mess it up on the first one, do another one. That's, you know, try on some scrap paper, whatever. There's plenty of junk mail out there, too, that we can give a try to. So this one, let's see. The let's pick, let's pick just for fun, showing you the process that I go through. And I think these are beautiful colors, but I think I want to go with this one. So this is what's going to be folded in. I'm going to need to be able to fold up from three quarters of an inch to an inch-ish if you have book pages that are smaller. You can get away with as much as a half an inch on the bottom if you're really trying to scrunch it down and save, you know, save space. So a half an inch to an inch, you kind of decide how you want to do that. So first of all, I'm just going to turn it up. And... I'm hoping that that's kind of square. This for me, you guys, this is a stretch. We we all know this. I'm a little anal about some of this stuff. <laughs> Trying to loosen up a little bit. But, you know, I mean, we each have our own things that, that we love to do. Okay, so I'm good with that. Now, I want to see what kind of room and I want to give this a little bit of room. I don't want to be stingy, but I don't want to, you know, make it go, hello, where are you? <laughs> Either. <laughs> so let's just kind of, let's just sort of go like so. We'll give a little bit of space and I will line this up with my edge. And that lets me know that that will be good. Okay. So that'll be my fold over. And I absolutely don't want it this long. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to cut it. And I am going to line this up on my line here, hopefully. And I'm cutting mine at an inch and a half. But it really, you know, it really doesn't matter. That's up to you. So I have this little bit of extra that can go on a collage, stitching, gluing, whatever it is. Alrighty. So we've got the top and the bottom. And now we just want to fold it over. So I'm going to put my little journal booklet. And I'm going to fold in. And I'm going to fold in, and I will remove that. Then I'm going to line those up. 
as nicely as possible and line this up as I can okay so we have all of the dimensions for our envelope this is going to be so cool now and it's so super simple so let's see let's bring that in a bit so you can see me I am just I'm not cutting on the fold line I'm going to cut just a little bit above and I'm going to angle it to this little corner can you see to this little corner where all these lines meet and I'm going to do the same here I'm going to cut a little bit to the inside to that corner and I will do it again over here just eyeballing it and we will okay that's not too bad it's not perfect you can see but when we glue that you won't see that now this has been ripped let me pull that back out this has been torn from the book if I don't want that to see or to be seen <laughs> if I don't want to be seen then I can either put it to the inside I can trim it now here again I've got approximately an inch to work with so I've got plenty that I can trim and I don't know that I want a full inch um, I don't know that I need that okay now did that not you know what this I'm realigning this because because this kind of got out of whack a little bit there that's better well that's kind of better <laughs> that won't show either when we get it done all right so we got that now we need to trim the top so here again I'm doing the very same thing that I did on the other only this time I'm taking maybe starting with between an eighth and a quarter of an inch in or down and angling that to that little corner where they all intersect that little spot there and here I am just trimming that I'm I'm going to come back and round that corner a little bit so I'm not doing a lot of angling on this but you can this is where you know you just do what kind of feels fun and good and yeah this is the part that's just like this it's it's just fun it's just fun all right so let's take a peek see and see what we maybe need to do now I want to angle these now you can do a couple of things I know Tina shabby dabby doo da she'll put these two together and she'll trim both at the same time and you can absolutely do that in fact well okay Tina here we go hun I am using your method and thank you very much okay see how cool that looks pull that up that down isn't that fun I've got a little a little little itty bitty here so let's go ahead and snip that off okay now I think I'm going to go ahead and trim off just a little bit here because I really don't need to have it be too terribly bulky and if you're planning on putting this gluing this say the back to a page in your journal which would absolutely be a fun thing as well then of course we're always looking to make 
um, more space to clear up bulk and heaviness. So let's try this again. So then you just have to decide which one you want to cross the other. And I think I like this over this. I think I want more package to show than I want the burlap or the cording here. Okay. So then I'm going to get my art glitter glue. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold the fences. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited about it. It's like, get it done. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea, my friends, to do some embellishing before you glue it. Now, look at that. That's just really kind of cute. Just right there. But just for, just because, let's go ahead and... Do a little bit of decorating here. We've got a lot of green. We've got green and silver going on. A little bit of red there. So I've got some different cutouts. I've ripped some things. I've got some scrapbooking paper. I've got some faux stamps that I printed out. It could be really fun. Got some angels. I know the angels are arty mazes that I I went down in size. I made them even smaller than what she had. I've got words that I can put on here. Oh, you know what? I've got a reindeer word. They don't have to be fancy it can be just as simple as you want let's let's take that let's see about a tag you know we could also we can do it here too we could like it doesn't have to be down here um i don't know if i've got anything with the reindeer in the stamps Holler if you see one you want me to use. And you better holler loud. Because <laughs> my ears don't hear so good. Okay. See, the trouble is, I like so many of them that <laughs> it's hard to pick. All right, and I will put the link. I, I apologize. I can't remember where I bought these, but I do. I love them, and I will put the link in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing these. That's super cute, too. Do, do, do. <sighs> now we're just... Okay, let's do it this way. Holler out if there's one you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if there's one you don't like. Oh, but I like the reindeer, but I don't know that that would go with. Ah, Christmas. Oh. <laughs> you guys, have you hollered? Have you hollered? And now that could be cute, huh? That's cute. And then you've got like Santa and his reindeer, right? What do you think? Do you, of these two, which do you like the best? Let's talk about them. This one has the green. It brings in the green uh, quite a bit. This one highlights brings out a little bit more of the red it pops I think a little bit more the green isn't so dominant let's try that again okay I agree this one of the two of these although that's really cute too 
there's no like in my opinion there's no wrong now what do you think about that versus this come on <laughs> what you say <laughs> tell me tell me and here we have another one these stamps these faux stamps aren't they adorable I'm just so loving them there again this this has both the red and the green in it 25th which do I like best this is a little plainer this is a little more dressed up. Let's get our reindeer going here. If we're gonna, if we're gonna. You know, I still think, I'm still thinking this one. Let me do a quick perusal here. This is more muted now that looks really nice too doesn't it mm, mm, mm. okay I just gotta quit looking here just you know go over and get yourself some of these faux stamps you guys these are fabulous that's you know they're fabulous okay fabulous now isn't that sweet but there again it brings in the green and I really want to bring out Kind of the red. Mm. All right. Quit with that. We're going to be here forever. <laughs> Limit your choices. <laughs> that is my suggestion of the day. Limit your choices. Just pick one and go with it. All right. So we're going to go with these two. We're going to go with Reindeer and December 25th. And now I'm going to get my... Dauber, and I'm going to highlight around the edge. What am I using? I am using Vintage Photo for this particular one. And I just, I really love the look that you get when you edge with the ink. I just, I just think it makes it, just brightens it, makes it pop. And let's do the same with this one, the December 25th. I did a whole bunch of fussy cutting the other night while I was in the living room watching probably some holiday baking show with hubby. And it went by, it was very pleasant doing it that way. I'm not, I don't just absolutely love to do the fussy cutting. I'll be honest with you, that's not my thing. I want to play with it. I don't want to cut it out. I want someone to cut it for me. <laughs> Will you come over to my house and cut my... Would you please? We've got a spare bedroom. <laughs> okay. So, let's give this a little bit to start. I think some... Music paper would be fabulous. I just need to dig in here and grab a little piece. Okay. So, let's... Does it matter? This is good. So what... Are, are you guys... Are you getting into the Christmas spirit yet? I hope that... This isn't too boring for you that you're just like, Rhonda, get over yourself. Don't be doing Christmas. Because I'm sorry. I just really love, I love the Christmas music. I love the lights. I love the cheerfulness of people at the holidays. I, I you know... I know. Traditionally, the holidays can be some of the worst times of the year for people, and I get that. And I've, I've had, you know, I've had a few crappy Christmases. 
But I, you know, I, I just, I love the fact that at this time of year, people are a little more willing to think about others and think about the Savior and, you know, the possibilities of something beyond here and now and, and just the kindness. So if, if that's not you, that's okay. I love you anyway. It'd be a boring world if we're all thinking the very same thing and experiencing the same kind of stuff, right? So I'm just kind of doing a little bit more kind of random on that. All right. Now let's put these together. Let's grab a little bit of cheesecloth. Well, that's a... <laughs> I've got more. This has been tea dyed, of course. Not tea dyed, coffee dyed. I don't drink coffee. And I do drink tea, but it's herb, herbal, herb tea. And I'm pretty lazy about, you know, I don't want to. I just like coffee dyeing. I like the color of it. That piece is not like screaming at me saying, yes, it's my turn. So I think we'll look for another little, another little snippet. Let's just cut something off. And we're just going to make this work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So what are your some before what are well, if I could speak I would ask you <laughs> what are some of your favorite holiday traditions? Do you have holiday traditions? Do you have Christmas traditions? Do you celebrate Hanukkah? Do you you know, I don't know is it Kwanzaa? I don't know there's several different things that people celebrate during this holiday season. And of course, we aren't even to Thanksgiving yet, which is another holiday that I love. And it, to me, is all about family, food, and thanks. Thanksgiving is. It's like the beginning, really, of the holiday season. Halloween, not so much for me. I mean, I don't... I don't mind it, and I have friends that they just, wow, Halloween is just awesome, and I think that's absolutely fine. I think that's great for them. It's not my bailiwick. Okay. But I do love Thanksgiving. Tell me what your favorite, if you want to, and I love it when you comment, you guys. If you don't comment, how can I get to know you? Seriously. I am getting to know those that are commenting on a regular basis. And I'm just enjoying it so much. And I know there are those of you that watch but don't comment. I would love, I would just really love to hear what you have to say. And just to say hi and just... You know, but if you but if you aren't comfortable, I that's okay. I don't want you to feel bad, or I don't want to guilt anybody. That's that's not my purpose. Just that if you decide you want to, I would sure love to visit with you through the social medium that we have well, now. That's pretty amazing. Okay. But tell me what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Let's go with that one. Okay, so here's a conscious choice that I'm going to make. Do I want, and let's go ahead and fold this up. And since I'm not stitching anything with my machine on this particular one, it wouldn't have mattered. I could have put my envelope together. That would, you know, that would have been fine. So, I can come down here, 
wait let's close that so this is how we would see this is how we would see it I could do it right in the center be neat and orderly I can kind of cover that part up and go here I can do something like that and I could do something like this where you're just a teeny bit peeking out and we have one two three four which is hardly any layers at all <laughs> it's hardly anything at all guys that's why it's so easy all right so what do you think so there again that's up to you that's you know personal choice now because we only have four layers well I think we should throw in a something you know mm. some little something and ugh <laughs> this is the video on what not to do <laughs> If you want to add, then maybe just tack it down just a little bit in the center until you know for sure that you've got what you really want want to have, period. So I'm going to share that a little bit. The British Baking Show is on again. I love that series. I love that series. Do you guys like that? The British with Paul Hollywood and Prue. What's her last name? And the and the, and the other guy. Anyway, I'm just like I'm better with faces than I am with names. Look at that. Isn't that kind of fun? Let's bring that in a little bit. See the difference? A little bit more color. Okay, take a look. This or this yeah me too so we're gonna add this collage like many things it just evolves and sometimes it just tells you your papers and your fabrics and whatnot they tell you what they want to be okay now, let's try this again. We haven't ruined it completely. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. Reindeer is a type of deer with large horns that lives in the northern parts of Europe, Asia, and North America. And also at Santa Land. <laughs> at the North Pole, don't you know? All right. So. Now we have to figure out, now this changes the position of this 25. Because now I'm like, if I put this here, then that covers that up. And I really quite like that. Do I want to cover up the definition? I mean, we all know that the reindeer are from the North Pole, right? Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. So if you're doing, I would recommend, if you're doing a whole bunch of these, to kind of do assembly line because it actually will go it will go faster for you now what you can also do here is add like I have added a little bow and I've put three little beads on there to make it pop so you can do something like that as well to just for an extra little bling and since we're here let's do that I'll be right back let me grab some beets and uh, 
some string and we will, let's see, what color do we want? Let's, I'll pick a couple of colors. Okay. Sorry that I didn't have those already within reach, but I wanted to make sure. Okay, so I've got some gold. I've got some red. Let's just see what we might like best. And... This is just a really sweet, soft mohair yarn. I'm just going to snip off a little piece of that, and we will snip off a little bit of green. I don't have a red or gold or anything like that of this particular... Mm, this is so yummy, you guys. This is lovely. I got it on Amazon. I went shopping for mohair and it takes a while to get here and it comes from out of country but wow I love it so much oh come on come on trouble is <laughs> it does not want to make a bow okay come on come on <laughs> I know you can do it. I know you can do it. <sighs> okay. Okay, there we go. Now, help me figure out, do we want it, you guys, right here? Do we want it over here? Yeah, I agree over here. Now for this part I have been using the Art Glitter Glue and this is a wonderful glue and I use it probably mm, 80, 70, 80 percent of the time and then I use the Fabri-Tac for a good amount and I also use a glue stick just, you know, I'm trying to find like the perfect glue stick. I haven't found the perfect one yet, but you could also use your glue gun. But I'm getting to a point, I used to use it all the time. And I'm kind of getting to a point where it just doesn't feel as delicate, as, as fine, you know, as using the Fabri-Tac. Look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? <gasps> oh, I'm loving it. Loving it. Okay. Yellow or red? I think red. Now, I don't have the real tiny seed beads. And these are... Does this say... Oh, well, this is a seed bead. That goes to show what I know. Six slash zero seed beads, I guess. I'm I'm not a beater, so I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that has to do with the size. But at that size I will never <laughs> I will never lack. <laughs> okay. Now I do a teeny bit of jewelry embellishment, but very little. So what I'm going to do is use this to pick up my beads. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little pool of the glue. Ah. <laughs> Let's put the lid on that. And then I want to put these little guys in. There's one, and two, and of course, as if you've, you know, 
the things are done in threes. That's a that is a normal design type of thing. Uh, odd numbers: three, five, seven, etc. Um, sometimes you use even numbers, but for the most part, an odd number works better. Isn't that sweet? Okay, now let's go ahead and just get our edges just a little bit here just to give it that extra little something. And I apologize guys if this is long and rambly. I don't mean it to be but I just like to visit with you while I'm creating in my studio. I just think about you and hope you're doing okay. And like I said, I've met some really wonderful people. I've made some good friendships on here. And although we can't be together physically we can in spirit and we can online and I hope that you know I hope you know the Lord loves you you are special there's nobody in the world like you you make a difference and you don't have to do anything but just be who you are just that's just yeah okay now what we can do is we can clip, and I think we will do that, but first of all, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. What I'm doing is on the outside, the flap that's going over, I'm going to glue a bead close to the edge as much as possible. Okay? Just a little bead there. Then close to the edge of the inside flap where it's going to be laid down next to, I'm also gluing that. So when the two come together, I've glued both sides and I've made it so that I'm not leaving gaps. That's just kind of a good standard that's like, yeah, that's just the way I like to do it. So then let's go ahead and glue down, 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 glue around. <laughs> These are so fun to make, you guys, seriously. I'm just like, you shouldn't have this much fun. <laughs> but oh, how fun to have this much fun. Now I'm taking a pixie here. Let's let's just go around here and sort of finish up on the edges that we did not touch up on first go around. And this will open up so we can do this that shows. What I've got my finger on in it's called a sponge dauber. I buy mine in Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm sure there are lots of places where you can buy them. Look on Amazon or whatever. Okay. <clears throat> now I want to perhaps give myself that little bit. So I'm going to trim just a teeny bit off. Okay. Trying to line this up so that it's in between. And if this were dry, the glue's a little wet, so I'm not 100% sure that this won't come off without. Uh, it may be a little mess, but we'll give it a try. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it did. It worked. <laughs> it worked. And then we can go ahead and ink that. Oh. It almost worked. So there's a teensy little bit. All right. 
Isn't that cute? Just cute, cute, cute. And if you're not gabbing away like I am, <laughs> you could do probably several. And if you only give yourselves a, a limited amount to work with, then you won't have to do the guessing that I did. But I'm just thinking this is adorable. I love this. Let's do one more. Um, do we have time? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I thought it would be fun to show you guys from a, a junk perspective. Let's make an envelope out of this. Okay, so as you can tell, I went to Arby's, I don't know when, it's not been recently, and uh, I am tearing this apart, hmm, might just be faster to, well, I don't know. We're just sort of without a net here. <laughs> We're flying without a net, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe that's better. We just sort of go along here. Let's open this up. So, cut your bag open. <laughs> wherever you get your bag from. This may not work. If it doesn't, I may cut this section of the videoing out <laughs> and never tell you. Never tell you what a crazy woman. Well, you already know I'm pretty crazy. I realize that. That's okay. Okay. But see this loveliness? Okay, so first of all, get your scrunchie on. Mm -hmm. Let's do some scrunching. It's not glassine, but you yeah, know. We take it where we can. I'm going to go iron this, and I shall be right back. Now this is where you would see beautiful music or hear music and I would show you something wonderful but I don't know how to do videos well at all and so that's not a strong point with me. So, but you just, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I apologize. I am over here pressing my fabric, my fabric. I'm pressing my bag down. And of course the heavier bags would make probably the nicer uh, envelopes. This is, a, this is a really a tad bit thin, but I thought it would be fun just to show you. You can make them out of junk, you can make them out of anything. Alright, now I'm not going to tell you everything again here because we we went through that. Let's just go ahead and let's just let's make one. So and I do hope that some of you I I know are on another lockdown. I hope it's going well. Um, in the United States, we are not there yet, anyway. I It could be coming. I don't know. Um, but supposedly, we've got... They're close to vaccine. And won't that be wonderful when that's actually a reality for all of us? That will be a tremendous blessing and we will be very grateful for. 
So we lived, before we moved here, we lived in a little town called Pullman, Washington. Okay, so this would be a smaller bag. Mmm, small. I maybe did that too small. <gasps> That's okay. Um, and I dreaded the snow every year because we lived in a townhouse apartment and the parking was absolutely nuts to try to uh, they really didn't do an adequate job of parking um, so it would pile up and it was difficult to get anybody in there to clear it and so it just I just felt so claustrophobic loved the people I loved the beauty uh, and my studio at the time it overlooked um, I could see heels I mean it, it was it really was very 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 pretty but guess what they've had snow <laughs> already <laughs> guess what here in Arkansas, where we live now, in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Yeah, we have no snow. <laughs> and my husband is commenting uh, quite a bit about the no snow. He's loving the fact that he's not having to be out there shoveling it. And I have to admit, it's, it's pretty nice not to have to deal with the snow. So we are, I think we're getting our, our sea legs now. We've, we've been here for a year and a half now. And obviously we've been loving living closer to most of our family and very close with one of our kids and families family so that's been really really nice we have loved having that for sure so I think what I'm gonna do here I told you I wasn't gonna talk about this now I'm just gonna do it and I am I am but I am going to score that, I think, just a tad bit. Oops. Oh, now I ripped. So that's not cool, Rhonda. Hmm. We'll see if we can fix that. I don't know. We will see. We will see. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and trim that. Going to cut that out. So, another thing that I don't know if I've told you about this or not, but we had the inside of our great room, which was consists of our living, uh, dining room, and kitchen nook um, painted. When we moved here, the color was a a brown, kind of a gray brown, and it was fairly dark and. At, we don't have um, direct sunlight because of the porch overhang and anyway just the way the the house is oriented we don't have that and so it was important to bring in as much light as possible and so um, 
we had it painted and the the dining room there's a vaulted sea well the ceiling goes up quite high in the living area and the dining room is quite high the ceiling I don't know how many feet but it's but it's up there but once we paint had it painted the, the the walls look really really tall so I was trying to decide what to do and was thinking about a wainscoting uh, but that's a little more expensive than what we felt like that I felt comfortable with um, and so I had the idea to do a faux wainscoting and when I say I had the idea to do, I really mean for my husband <laughs> to do. Because <laughs> I can't be out there and in here at the same time. <laughs> um, anyway, he's such a good guy. He's such a good guy. <laughs> to paint up... Uh, I think it was just under four feet or they're just over three feet I don't remember to paint the bottom and then do a molding around to give it the look and I love it it's so pretty I absolutely love it and so we have been the last few days we've been putting the pictures and the things back on the walls and trying to figure out you know about that and <laughs> we didn't get into it but there was a, a little bit of um you know <laughs> there was a moment or two when he maybe thought I wasn't being as reasonable as I could be and there was a moment or two where I thought he was definitely not an artist. <laughs> and there was a little thing of some metal something inside the walls that made it impossible to put one of the picture things that I wanted or a, a, a little shelf in this certain spot. He tried <laughs> after <laughs> drilling <laughs> or putting a few little holes in this wonderfully beautifully new painted. Uh, he's like, it's not happening there. <laughs> You're not getting it there. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so yeah, but we came up with a good a good alternative and I love it not quite done yet but it really is turning out beautifully and I'm really happy with it okay so do you ever get that where you just have something on your mind that it's going to be this way it's going to just be so perfect and so beautiful but logistically it seriously isn't even possible and you just get frustrated. And I wasn't frustrated with my husband. Well, <laughs> he's a miracle guy. So I'm kind of like, he can do anything, right? So when he can literally make it happen, I'm just like surprised because he does make it happen. I am very spoiled. I'm really grateful. I have an amazing husband. I really do. He's just, he's such a good guy. And he puts up with an awful lot from me. Although, you know, we're, we're past the, the intense years. <laughs> you know, we're past that. We enjoy each other's company. We're best friends. We just have a good time together. Mostly. Except when I'm being stubborn about wanting a shelf in a certain spot that's literally impossible.
but it's I just so the house is more of a modern style um, not modern modern but um, I love a country home I love the country style the decorating my ideal home would be this I don't know two three story farmhouse with a wraparound porch and you know all that good kind of stuff um, and so doing some of these little things that we're doing is making it more the more you know that we do that way the more it becomes our home you know with our stamp with our our ideas and we're you know so yeah we're having a we're having a good time with that and I was surprised at I have in the past when I was doing more sewing and quilting and that type of thing you know curtains making curtains was no big deal and I made a ton of curtains for homes and and I absolutely I bought curtains <laughs> I, I bought them and the ones that we've put up I'm just like wow this is so fun and I didn't sew it <laughs> and I love it I love it all right let's just come up with some little something I don't want to spend a lot of time here so see when I when I'm just not trying to discover everything, rediscover everything, and give myself five bazillion options and just pick something, then it has a tendency to work. And I like that. I like that. So let me see. Do I want do I want a word? Do I want I don't have out yet. I don't have. I've got definitions, but I'd like some words too. Well, I do have this little guy. You know what? It's what I've got, so I'm going to make it work. So we'll just do this. I have been quite busy uh, stitching up journal covers, Christmas journal covers that I showed you how to make here on the YouTube channel. And I'm just about done with those. I'm not going to do very many more because it's trying to trying to I, I'm just getting I'm never good about doing a bazillion of one thing that's that's not a strong suit of mine I'm really good about one or two but after nine or ten or you know whatever I'm kind of like I get over it <laughs> so I'm almost getting to that point where I'm almost over it I I may be doing a couple more but but after that I'm like no I want to move on to another project something totally different totally different alrighty let's get this love this little bow we could put that right up there I think okay yeah now do we want to add some of this in there mm hmm you know what if we do anything to that then I think it would be something just a tad bit different. What if I were to just add a little bit of scrapbooking paper? I don't 
don't know. I don't know if I'll use this or not, but we'll give it a whirl first. Okay. All right. I like it. <laughs> Hubby will come back the hallway and he'll if I have the door closed to the studio then he kind of he'll peek he'll sort of you know because he never knows where if I'm in the middle of a video or not and I tried the other day I was in the middle of one and he came in and he he didn't realize that I was videoing and I was talking and he was he was like talking back, you know, with me ab about the whatever. And then he, he realized, and I, I said, there's my husband, say hi. And he was so embarrassed, he just, he just left. He didn't say hi or anything. Okay. I asked you what... A favorite Thanksgiving food was for you but I didn't tell you what mine is and it's a terrible one but my favorite food of Thanksgiving is a combination of candied yams and mashed potatoes and the turkey gravy and my candied yams, they're not candied yams that you buy in the can at the store. They are, you buy the yams, you bake the yams, or you boil them. You take the skins off. You mash them with an inordinate amount of butter <laughs> and brown sugar. <laughs> and you top them off and you know the salt and pepper and you top them off with mini marshmallows and you put them in the oven to heat it through oh my talk about died and gone to heaven mm -hmm. that is my favorite but I like it all I mean you know so tell me what yours is I want to hear what your favorite is what you're planning on making for your dinner. Oh, that's kind of a mess. I'll have to clean that up. All right, guys. I think we are going to call that good for this one. As you can see, yeah, you can make an envelope out of just about anything, right? I mean, who would know that this is an Arby sack? All right, thank you for joining me. I have enjoyed our time together, and I hope that you have learned something, enjoyed your time with me, or just been creating along with. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, um, comment. It helps a lot. Until next video, you guys stay safe. I love you. Have a fabulous day. Bye now.